So Nathaniel Hackett will no longer be the offensive coordinator for the Green Bay Packers. News broke this morning that the Broncos are finalizing a deal with Nathaniel Hackett. I do think we saw this coming um, because of, you know, all the different interviews he's been having recently. It sort of just seemed like he was going to leave. I know last year, I believe he had one interview. I think it was with the Falcons. But, of course, he stayed with Green Bay for the 2021 season. But this time, there are lots of very, very interested people. Rightly so, just because of how, I mean, good he's done with his Packers offense, with Aaron Rodgers, with Matt LaFleur. And so here is the, the official tweet that broke the news at 5.52 a.m. this morning from Tom Pelissero saying the Broncos are finalizing a deal with Packers OC. Nathaniel Hackett to make him their new head coach per sources. Contract talks heated up Wednesday night. The Jaguars plan to interview Hackett again today. Instead, Denver lands its top choice. So now the Denver Broncos have a new head coach in Nathaniel Hackett. And I was also reading that the Broncos look like they're going to try to pursue Adam Stinovich, the Packers offensive line coach, as their potential offensive coordinator which could potentially make sense for them. And then, of course, now for the Packers, what does this mean? Um, so now with Nathaniel Hackett no longer being the offensive coordinator, Matt LaFleur was talking in a press conference the other day, and basically he was saying they plan to um, basically hire someone who is already in the Packers organization to the offensive coordinator position, basically saying that they have lots of talented people there, and so someone will probably come in there and fill that role for um, the Green Bay Packers at offensive coordinator. Of course, with Matt LaFleur being the main play, play caller, it's not like the Packers have to change everything on offense. Um, you know, I think Nathaniel Hackett, you know, was a big part of the offense. Aaron Rodgers was always praising him and for the work that he did and sort of just the guy that he was and um, I guess how good he was as a coach. But luckily, you know, Matt LaFleur is the guy calling the plays, but the Packers will have to find someone else to fill him, fill that spot. But now, of course, the question is, will Aaron Rodgers join Nathaniel Hackett in Denver. Um, we don't know what Aaron Rodgers is going to decide if he wants to return. Um, I'm probably going to do a live stream right after this to sort of go through that topic and uh, see what you guys have to say as well. But right now, my thoughts on this, I think if Rodgers does decide to go somewhere else and not retire and not stay with Green Bay, I think that Bro the Broncos are clearly the most likely choice. Like if I had to place a bet on something, I would bet on the Broncos. Firstly, even without Nathaniel Hackett there, it seems to be a potentially, you know, good place um, just because of how good their defense was. They were the second best scoring defense in the NFL last, last year. They have lots of talented weapons on their offense like Jerry Judy, Corlin Sutton. Um, you know, Javante Williams is a great running back this year for them. So if Aaron Rodgers went there, it would, it would already be, I think, a great situation for him to, I mean, to be great just with the defense they have there. But then also now you add in the fact with Nathaniel Hackett there, you'd have to think like with Rodgers, when he's deciding to go somewhere, he has to you know, get along with the head coach. And I think for this, we already know just how good of a relationship he has with Nathaniel Hackett from all the praise he's given him in the past two years, um, you know, being with Green Bay for the past three years. Um, so it, it makes much more sense, I think, for Rodgers to go to Denver if he does go somewhere. But I'll be curious to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. And um, I'll probably do a live stream, as I said, right after this to discuss, you know, what could potentially happen now. So that is all I wanted to break down for you guys this morning. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to put out Packers content pretty much daily. So subscribe if you want to see more of that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. My Twitter is Luke underscore Beller for more content. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.